Hi everyone. Right, today I'm going to talk about my kit bag that goes on my canoe or on my ATV. Um, some of it would go with me when I'm out on a day walk. Um, it's be honest, this, this kit bag in its entirety is what I would take on a vehicle or in a vehicle. Um, basically, all packs into this canvas. Stuff bag really. I don't know what it was for originally, it's a military thing, um, but it's a good sized bag for what I need. So, what I'll do, I'll um, take all the stuff out and we'll go through it one by one. Right, okay, the first bit of kit I carry in my bag is this um, trauma pouch. Um, these are really good, I like these. They're, they're basically a, a multi user pouch, you know, you've got technically three pocket, main pockets. And like two smaller pockets on the sides. Um, and in this pocket here, I normally carry my spork and um, a small survival tin opener. I think these are pretty good and they, they cost me nothing and they weigh nothing. A tin opener if I'm carrying tins, of course. And then in the top of the, the pouch, I have this little stove. Um, It's a Van Gogh, I believe. I bought it quite a few years ago. This is the little Van Gogh stove. I mean, it's tiny. Um, I don't know how you can see how small it is. Um, I mean, it worked, but the gas is a bit unpredictable. I'm not a big fan of it um, for cooking on it. It tends to be a bit erratic. Um, and obviously, you can run out of gas. Or uh, well, the gas can bottle can fail, and then you have your it. Also, in this little orange tub it comes in, I carry another tin opener because I keep losing these, yeah. so it always pays for a spare. And that all fits quite neatly in this little pot. Underneath that in the main pouch, I carry my British Army issue, British military issue I suppose, 58 pattern water bottle. Um, these are brilliant, bomb proof, you know, they, they just last forever. Um, one thing I will say, well, for me, you don't need it in the barn with water in it because it's frozen solid. <laughs> but um, keep an eye on your rubber seal down the top. Um, they do run out and they do wear down. Let's be honest, they're a standard size so you can get replacements. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to fit you in the bowl. Break open the pouch. <coughs> and the bottom pocket. My favourite stove, which is my Hexamin burner, if you like. It's so simple, flip it open, the fuel there obviously, lay your pot hold on the top, job done. I mean, how easy it is that. Um, and let's be honest, bark, pine cones, leaves, anything, and you can boil some more. Brilliant. Also carry my Gerber suspension. Um, these are brilliant. Uh, you know, got a few tools on there, knife and, and scissors and bottle openers and screwdrivers and god knows what else. Yeah, I mean, they're fine. A little bit heavy but it doesn't really matter if it's on a machine or in a canoe. That's that. <coughs> Trump pocket. Small gas, this is a C100 Coleman, uh, it's a 70 30 butane propane mix. Um, yeah, they're alright, but like I say, if that goes on you, you're knackered. So I would always suggest having one of these as a backup or your primary. And then there's my cooking cup, and um, it's Crusader style. So you get your flames going, bosh, done. That's simple. Apart from that, I then carry separately in, in separate bags. I've got tea and coffee, um, bags of coffee and tea, I love it. I don't have enough of that. Two spare pairs of gloves. Um, these leather ones are mainly for working on fires, you know, split wood, that kind of stuff. 
and can't be playing other gloves. And these ones are just basically working the gloves, but they're, they're my backup in case I lose or some of them manage to destroy my biking gloves. Everyone knows what one of these is. If you don't, it's a Barco Laplander. Um, Bushcraft in saw of choice, I think, is fair to say. Um, good, strong blades. The teeth are designed. Teeth are designed to cut both ways, um, and as you cut, it opens at the top, so it never jams. And they're very good. And you have a small button here that, when it's open, it's locked. You have to push that to close it. And also, to push it through. About thirty quid in the UK. Maybe I'd get it. Some I'd get it less, but yeah, well recommended. And they're nice and light. Um, also have a small pouch here, which is basically my little survival pack. So have some cordage, about five metres worth. It's purely if I need to tie up a splint or you know lash something down quickly. It's there. Have a personal first aid kit. Um, Pretty, pretty standard really as it was bought. The only thing I've really added is a couple of these light sticks and some of this um, burn gel. Highly recommend having a tube of that in your pack um, purely because you like me and you like cooking on open fires or even to be honest on gas. You burn yourself in the you know, forest somewhere. It burns pretty um, can be pretty serious, so it doesn't hurt to have it in there, you know, it didn't take up in the room, and at least you're covered. And finally, in there, you just have two torches, one's an head torch, which is just a simple twist on, twist off, single LED, you know, pretty bomb proof, um, and what I like about these is they have a small clip. I can clip it to my tarp or inside of a hammock or even in my tent and yeah, get on with it, carry on working. And also carry this torch, it's based I think loosely on the Surefire, it's um, just a copy of it, but it's, it's got um, three different lights and the strobe effects I quite like if you're in the doo-doo in the and you need some help. So that's that. Next is my tube. I know you probably won't even have a piece of tube in this bag for. Well, I've cooked a lot of times and spent a lot of time with open fires. And one thing I've learned in, in those years is if the embers start dying a little bit and you need to blow on them, you can very quickly lose your eyebrows or burn your face. So, basically, I have this which I came up with. Which is a small pole that I can extend, blow into the fire, and then pack it away. And it's big, you know. <laughs> it might be it's slightly overkill, but like I say, I've, I've spent too many times trying to get a fire to relight again, blowing on it, and then, yeah, if it's still a bit warm, it can you know, lose your light better. So here you go, put it in Nice and simple. Uh, next, this is just my ablutions bag. Not very exciting. <coughs> Small packet of Kleenex. <coughs> bob roll. And inside the bob roll, I carry a alcohol hand cleanser gel thingy. Um, with pump action. Good thing is with these is they're also good for lighting fires because they've got alcohol in them. And if you put a blob of this on a stick and light it, it will burn. There you go, a little tip for you. Dual purpose. So the kit. And finally, when I'm on the canoe or the bike, weight's not an issue, I carry my mother pack. <laughs> Which is my big cooking pot. Not massive. Two litre, I think. Three litre, maybe. Uh, it's got a lid with a, an eye. And inside of that, I carry a metre and a half by a metre 
a square micro tail. Um, I do like going for a swim if I'm on a canoe, I don't even fall in. Um, but it's nice to go for a dip in the evening before bed or whatever, and obviously you need to dry yourself. And also, what, you know, drying up dishes. Also in here, a small plastic bag with some cooking oil. stuff um, which I picked up for a country fair kind of thing is basically African spice. It's just different peppers and chilli and stuff um, but it's lovely to sprinkle on the ground on over a steak or into a stew or anything. I have a small pump action bottle of washing up liquid. My tactical pot scraper. Silicon spoon, shovely spatula thingy, and some stainless steel camping cutlery. And it all fits in my pot. And then on my body, I'll carry my, or wear, I should say, um, one of these buffs around my neck. Um, it can also be used to strain any horrible gunky bits out of water before you purify it. And a push strain coffee and my tea hat, um, which is great. And then also another fire steel and my push coffee knife. This is a small three inch blade um, locking sheath. There you go. Great little knife, this holds an edge really well for a long time. And yeah. There you go. So that is basically my bushcraft basics bag. Thanks for watching. See ya.